How you doing? Reporting live from Higginbotham Park. I think it's May 28th, is that right? Memorial Day weekend, it's a Saturday. And I just wanted to come out to the park and just show you where the water levels are. And I'll switch the camera around, but the water is up quite a bit. We got half an inch of rain last night. We got about an inch of rain uh, earlier in the week. Now I wanted, this is kind of the before because tomorrow we're expecting heavy rain. Monday we're expecting heavy rain. Could last into even Wednesday. I don't know if all of those days will be heavy rain, but certainly tomorrow and Monday it's expected. So one, two, three, maybe even four inches of rain possible, maybe even more. And so, yeah, the lake's up quite a bit already just with the rains we've had. It was way low early spring. And uh, now this is the highest I've seen it in, in quite some time. And you add, I don't know, three more inches of rain in the next couple of days, and this could be a problem. And this isn't the only Playa Lake in town. The one on Quaker near 80 sec near uh, the South Loop, that's the one that really has flooding problems. So we'll see what happens. Of course, it's the forecast. Weather forecasting has gotten so much better over the last couple decades, but you know, it's still weather. It's still unpredictable. And even though heavy rain is expected, certainly not a guarantee, but that is what we are expecting. So this could be the before, and then we end up uh, maybe with the after. Now, let me walk over here. I wanna show you, you know, with the rains that we've had, this track here at Higginbotham Park, which is, I love to walk here and I don't do it enough, but I do come here and walk, you know, usually a couple, three miles when I do, and throw in a couple sprints even, <laughs> you know, old man sprints. <laughs> let me see, let me uh, turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is, uh, like I said, an inch of rain a few days ago, half inch of rain last night, and the track gets kind of muddy. Uh, this is a couple inches of, of uh, water here on it. Makes for a nice reflection with the puffy clouds. This rain is uh, very much welcome, that's for sure. And the good news last night, we didn't have any hail. This is the time of year we get that sort of thing. So none of that nonsense. Yeah, so you can tell, you know, when it rains here at Higginbotham Park, the, the track gets muddy and oh, we got some fishermen. Hope the fishing's going well. So let's walk over this way and show you kind of something else that I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, I got my hair cut like two weeks ago. And I think the girl was afraid to cut it too short. <laughs> and I was, I didn't say anything. I thought it looked pretty good when I left, but she definitely didn't cut enough. So I, I need a haircut after having a haircut, but that's what I get for waiting, you know, several months between haircuts. Oh, well, it is what it is. So this park's a beautiful park and it's very close to my apartment. So I spend a lot of time here actually. And it's really nice. Let's see the ducks. Hello ducks. How you doing? So let me let me show you what I'm talking about. There's my VW. Got my Texas plates the other day. Very excited about that. My car is now a Texan. I've had my license for a while. So that is good. It's funny too because they're doing a drainage project here to improve the drainage in town. So they've been doing some construction, which is kind of annoying because it blocks the path. Now you see this right here? This is normally concrete all the way down to the Playa Lake. And the, the wide opening there, that's usually dry with the concrete going into the lake. And let me walk over here. Whoa, dang, almost fell. That was close. Ah, I hurt my shoulder too. Okay, so this ledge right here, this is usually where I sit <laughs> and watch the sunset and the water is usually not out to the trees, maybe a third of the way out to those trees. But this little ledge right here is normally where I sit to 
to watch the sunset and of course now it's all it's all water so to sort of recap we've had some good rains this week inch and a half at least over the last few days and if we uh the forecast comes true and we hello doak making some noise back there so if the forecast comes true and we get two, three inches of rain in the next couple of days, we might have some flooding problems. And if we do, I'll show you some pictures and let you know, and I'll do an update. All right, that's it for now. See ya.